Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. Today in this tutorial, we are going to learn about how to find out if Outlook email has attachments in UiPath. So this is another tutorial of UiPath Outlook email automation. And as you know that sometimes we uh, get a scenario where we need to find out if that email has attachments, then we need to download that attachments, right? So I am going to tell you this. So first I will show you the demo and in which I will show you that if any email has attachments available then that will show a message box that attachment found and if there is no attachments in that mail then we'll get a not found or like attachments not found. So let me show you a demo and then I will show you how can we find out if Outlook email has attachments. Right. So let me open UiPath Studio and let me run that. Let me run this so that I can show you the demo. So let me run this control F5. And now let me open the Outlook here. You can see shows found and then attachments. So here in this message box I have written the found the hard coded value and that's then attachment is the our subject line subject message you can see here attachment is the subject so it shows that this has uh, the attachment this email has attachment now press ok now we are getting the second one it shows that yes we have the attachment third it shows that not found it means there is no attachment here now fourth it shows that no fifth yes we have this in fifth email we have this uh, let me this one and it has the attachment you can see the clip option uh, icon it shows that yes it has the attachments so here I have just taken five emails and only for hundred mail message so I'm just reading 500 mail message and checking if that email has attachments or not I am going to uh, show you with two methods. So using two methods I will show you how can we check if that email has attachments available or not. Right. So let me show you. Let me uh, delete this and you can see here that this email has one PDF attached. In this email we have uh, two attachments. In this one there is no attachment. Oh, there is an attachment here. Yes. and let me tell you that when we were learning about sending uh, attachments and sending inline attachments right you remember so that time while performing this this steps we need to attach this screenshot in the attachment so so whenever if you if we need to send uh, inline attachments as a screenshot we need to attach that screenshot also so UiPath will consider this as a attachments. So whenever you will check for this email, you will get a found message because this has the inline attachments. There are two type of attachments. First one this and second we are getting here in the inline attachments in the body message. So this will be also considered as a attachments. Now if you are checking for the fourth number and let me show you here that now we are getting a logo and I have already shown you in my previous video if you have not seen that video then please go and watch that video you can go through all this email automation videos so that you will be aware of this so this is a logo and this is also called inline attachments so we are attaching the skin sort or logo of that company Right, so this will be also attachments. So this will show as a true. Right, and if you'll check this one, there is no attachments here. Right now, as I told you that I am going to show you with the two methods. So we are going to first try with the first method. So what is the first method? Let me take a sequence here. Change the name. Check attachment now here you know that first we need to get email 
so first we'll take get outlook mail message so using this we'll get all these emails so we'll take the same thing inbox and we'll leave this we are going to fetch only 100 mail message so let me uh, take two three four five this three four five right now we have seven inbox uh, under mail message now let me take a variable emails and I have already this emails variable and this is a system dot collections dot generic dot list system dot net dot mail dot mail message now we need to read one by one mail so that we can check that email has attachments so we'll take a for each and we just need to change this from object to system dot net dot mail dot mail message now we can change or we, or you can keep you can you know put a variable name anything so I'm putting here for each email in emails because we have a collection of emails here in this variable now you can see here now we are getting one by one emails now we need to check here condition so we'll put a if condition so first we'll check here if this email it means this variable dot attachments now dot any so we'll use this email dot attachments dot any so it will give you the output of any attachments so here you can find the attachments now just take a message box here and take another message box and here we'll write attachment found and here we'll write attachments not found now uh, I'm just going to do one thing I'm just going to put here one space hyphen and then I'm just going to show you that email subject so that we can find out which email has attachments now again com space hyphen space and then plus email dot subject right now this is done you can directly run this control F5 now you'll see here so this email you can see we are getting a message attachment found and hyphen attachments so you can see this is a subject and which has the attachment right now the second so attachment found so, so uh, this is the second email third it shows attachment found and there's your RE framework UI path help so this is the third email which has the attachments you can see this has this one this skin sort and as I as I already told you about this that this is a an inline attachment so this will be a true now fourth attachment not found REG UI path course you can see this UI path course REG UI path course so there is no attachments found in this email that's why we are getting not found now fifth attachment found let me show you that we have this UI path exercise click on this yes we have this attachments right so by this way and, and the last attachment not found so where is that let me check Okay, so we are getting this one so this one has no attachments right now again not found right so basically like we put their top 30 I forget to ch you know change this count so basically like we had only uh, four to seven hundred mail message so that's why we just got five to six now this is the first method 
uh, using you can check for the attachments now let me show you the second method now let me uh, put here top 7 only now the second method you can use this here that just remove this in the if condition so we'll write here email dot attachments dot count so we'll see here if the email if it has the attachments then we'll check for the count if count is greater than zero if email attachments count is greater than zero then it will show a message box here in that message box that attachments found and if not then attachment not found so this is the second method let me run this again control f5 and you will see we are getting attachment found because we have this attachment second yes we have third yes because I have already shown you that we have inline attachments fourth here we have this logo I already shown you that this is also a inline attachments and this is not found because there is no attachments here now we have the attachments here now six seven right so by this way you can check if that email has any attachments available and then next step you can you know, download that at attachment or you can save that email you can download that email you can download that that attachment to a folder or you can just filter out the attachments let's say if you want to just download only PDF download only Excel file download only text file download only JPG file so you can filter out and you can perform th the next step after checking this right so in the next video we'll learn about how to download attachments email attachments and how to download only specific attachments like only PDF attachments only Excel attachments so we will learn in next video so if you found these videos helpful then please support by donating any amount using PayPal you can find PayPal link here in the UiPath RPA channel you can uh, go here and then you will find this link donate to support UiPath RPA and then you can click on this so it will redirect to PayPal page and then you can see here the URL that is UiPath RPA and also you can see the logo and then my name so you can donate any amount and you can choose here your currency INR USD as per your country and you can you know put here any amount which you want to donate so let's say if you want to donate thousands rupees in INR you can just put there and you know process the next step so thank you so much friends thank you for watching this video I hope you like this video stay at home stay safe and you can watch my UI path RPA videos you can learn more here because now you have time to learn you can learn something you can automate if you really like this video please like and if you have not subscribed to the channel then please subscribe and please press the bell icon to get the latest video notification and if you have any question you can comment on video thank you